Hello friends, it is the Trading Journal channel and today I will show you how you can use the Binance exchange. Since most of you guys know, Bitcoin performed crazy well this year and there are tons of people asking me how to buy or trade cryptocurrencies. But before we begin please don't forget to like and subscribe. Before we begin I must remember that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, so please don't invest more than what you are willing to lose. Again, I am repeating, cryptocurrency markets are extremely risky, it is not so uncommon to see 20% changes in a single day. Of course, it is super profitable if you are on the right side of the market. But sometimes it really hurts to see how quick and easy it is to lose your investments. Okay, if you decided that you want to invest or trade let's start. First, we should start by opening a Binance account. You can use the referral link in the description box to open a Binance account. It is a special link that gives you a 10% commission discount, so it would be profitable for you to use it. But if you don't want a discount for some kind of reason, you can open a new tab and go to Binance.com. Okay, if you click the link below it must be the page you see right now. And if you open the site manually please click the register tab on the right side of the top menu. Now we must write your email address and choose a password to register. You can see, it is written that you are using a referral link with a commission discount. So after you write down your email and password, you should click create an account. And you have to drag this button to prove you are not a robot, like my voice. After you solve the puzzle, Binance will send you email with a verification code, and you have to write down the code here. The first screen we see shows us the ways to deposit money to Binance. You can deposit both cash and crypto, or you can deposit from your credit card. Please keep in mind that cash deposit methods change depending on the currency you want to deposit. So I will not explain all of them one by one to keep this video short, but you can just select your currency and follow the steps to deposit cash. Now I will skip this page and come back to deposit and withdrawal methods later. As soon as you log into your account, Binance will ask you to enable two-step verification. And it is for your own good, so please take a minute to enable it. Okay, we have completed the first step, and now you have an account on Binance Exchange. Let's take a look at our screen. First, you can change the language and the currency you use from the right side of the top menu. Most of the crypto traders use the USD currency but if you prefer something else you can select it here. If you have selected your currency, I want to show you the wallet part. When you drag your mouse on the wallet you will see many options. I will not explain all of them in this video, but I will show you the things you should know. If you click on the overview tab, Binance will show you how much money you have in total. It includes your cash, margin, and future accounts, your savings, and your spot account. Right now, it doesn't show mine, but if I click on the show balance button here, it will show. I created this account just for this video, so I can show you everything freely. So, I will click the button, and as you see I have $0 balance in my account. Okay, let's dive into the most important part of the wallet. We will select the Fiat and Spot tab here. In this section, you can see all of your holdings. And we will also use this section to deposit and withdraw cryptocurrencies. By the way, I must say that, if you are not a trader, please do not hold your cryptocurrencies in an exchange account, because they can be hacked. The most secure way to hold your coins is offline. You can use a hardware wallet such as a Ledger or a Trezor wallet. Personally, I hold my long-term investments in a Ledger wallet. If you guys are interested, I have put a link in the description box to the Ledger's official website. Now, let's see how you can deposit or withdraw cryptocurrencies. First, let's say that you have cryptocurrencies in some other exchange or wallet, to transfer them to Binance you have to select deposit here. You will see a bunch of deposit methods here. And right below there is your deposit address. You should select and copy it, and you should paste it as the address you want to transfer your bitcoins to. Make sure you check it twice before finishing the transfer. Let's check the other scenario, let's say that you bought some bitcoins from the Binance, and you want to transfer them to your wallet. You should open the withdraw section here, and you should write down the address you want to send your bitcoins to. Okay, now let's talk about how you can deposit fiat money to Binance. Most of the traders use other exchanges to deposit cash to their accounts. And they transfer bitcoin or tether to Binance. But if you want, it is possible to deposit money to Binance from most of the countries. Let me show you step by step. First, you will open your spot wallet, and you will select deposit. And you will select fiat. As you can see you can deposit dollars with a bank transfer. And Binance also accepts other currencies, such as Euro and British Pound. 
you can also deposit with your credit card, but I don't recommend that since you will pay commissions. Now, we are starting the fun part. Let's see how you can trade in the Binance exchange. When you drag your mouse to the trade section on the menu, it shows you many options. Classic and advanced are the most popular ones. I think that if you are watching this video, you are not an experienced trader, so classic trading would be more suitable for you. But keep in mind that, most of the experienced traders, including myself, use advanced trading in Binance. And if you are a new trader please do not try margin trading. It is basically leverage trading and it can be extremely risky for a new trader. Even if you are an experienced trader, crypto markets are highly volatile, you will not need margin trading to be profitable. So let's start with the classic trading and I will explain the other types in another video. Right now we are looking at the daily chart of Bitcoin to USDT. As most of you guys know, there is a crazy trend in markets right now. I hope you guys are enjoying some nice profits. First, let's start with the charts. You can change the time frame here. Right now, we are using a daily chart. It means each of these candles represents a day. Let's change it to a 1 hour chart. And now 1 candle equals just 1 hour. You can select the one you feel most comfortable with. I am a swing trader and I use mostly the 4 hour chart. You can change the chart type here. I prefer the trading view chart since I am more used to it. And you can add indicators and also draw lines on the chart. You can check my other videos for technical analysis tutorials. The numbers you see on the left side are the asks and the bids. Red numbers are the asks and the green numbers are the bids. You can change the pairs on the right side of the page. Let's look at the fiat pairs to find the Ethereum to dollar chart. As you see there are tons of pairs to trade with. Just like you can trade with fiat money, you can trade altcoins with bitcoins. For example, you can buy Ripple with bitcoin. The best part comes now. I will show you how to buy or sell cryptocurrencies. You have to scroll down and you will see the green and red buttons. Spot trade is selected here, do not change it if you don't want to margin trade. Like I said trading with leverage is extremely risky, and you can lose all of your capital. So it is better if you stick with the regular trading. You can select the order type here. There are three basic order types in Binance. Limit, Market, and Stop Limit Orders. I believe it is extremely important that you know all of them but it would take so much time to explain them all in this video. So comment me down if you are interested, and I will create a video about them. But I will give you a quick briefing about them. We will start with the most basic one, market orders. If you use a market order to give a buy order, Binance will match your order with the lowest sell order. So your order will be fulfilled immediately in a second. You just need to write the amount you want to buy in market orders. However, limit orders are a little bit more complicated than that. You have to write the price you want to buy in limit orders. Don't worry if it sounded complicated, I will give you an example to make it simpler. Let's check the price of the Bitcoin. The chart shows that one Bitcoin is worth $39,500. But let's say that you don't want to pay that much for a Bitcoin. So you give a limit order. While doing so you have to write a price that you are willing to pay for one Bitcoin. Let's say that you want to buy a Bitcoin and you want to pay just $38,000. So you write that price and you write the amount of Bitcoin you want to buy. And Binance will do the matching only if the price drops to 38k. It is the order type most of the traders use while trading. Coming next we have the stop limit orders. But most of the traders don't use them that much. Instead, we use OKO orders. OKO means one cancels the other order. It is extremely important because we use it to set stop loss and take profit orders. I think it is better if I make a whole video about the OKO orders because they are kind of complicated, and I don't want people who just started trading. So, in order to keep this video short and effective, I will not start explaining them now. Instead, I will show you the most basic and fast way to buy cryptocurrencies. Considering most of the people who are watching this video would be new traders who want to trade as fast as possible. We will go to the trade section on the top menu again. And we will select convert this time. You have to select the coin pair you want to trade. Let's say that you have, I don't know a thousand dollars, and you want to buy Ethereum with it. You have to write the amount in the coin you want to buy, and Binance will show you how much you can buy. It will not make the trade now because I don't have any dollars, but it shows how many Ethers I can buy with one thousand dollars. When you give an order, it will appear in your order's history at the bottom of the page. If the order is filled it will appear on the trade history. But if it is still open, it will appear in the open orders section. There are tons of other futures in the Binance exchange. For example, there is the Binance pool, which you can use as a pool to mine cryptocurrencies. Or there are futures, which help you to long or short Bitcoin with leverage. 
If you guys are interested, I will create a video about them too. Before finishing the video, I want to show you a small feature too. You can use a referral link to help your friends to trade with lower commissions. You can also earn an income with them too, so it is a win-win for everyone. But I must warn you that, you won't make a solid income with that too, still, it can help your friends by giving them a discount while trading. I believe it is enough information for today, if it is your first day trading. If you want more Binance and crypto trading videos, please comment me down. I try to create both crypto and stock trading videos. Before starting to trade please remember that Bitcoin is way more volatile, and riskier than stocks. If you have any questions please write them down in the comments. Have a fantastic day everyone. If you are interested in these kinds of trading videos, you may subscribe to the channel. And please like this video if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.